I set up a miner from start to finish. Open box. This is how it looks when you open it. I'm gonna connect this to there. Then I have to collect an ethernet cable to a port there, okay? Connect this to there, okay? And then connect that to the electric socket. Once you connect this, and by the way, you're gonna need a switch because I have so many cables here and so many miners connected that I recommend that you get an eight switch so that you're ready because once you start mining, you're gonna see that um, it's very addictive, okay? Go to your service provider and find the devices, okay? Click on there and you need to find the IP address. Take the filter and put newest, and then you're fine. Newest, okay? There it is, so now I'm gonna click here, okay? And I'm gonna find the details of my miner. Usually it starts with a 192. I'm gonna edit the name and put miner. It's called Ice River Miner, okay? I'm gonna take the IP address and open a tab. It's gonna look like that. You're gonna get into the miner and you're gonna put admin one, two, three, admin. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Then you're gonna log in and now you're gonna go to the mining setting. Okay? Mining setting. And you're gonna erase all this stuff. That goes to there, to the manufacturer. You can mine solo or you can mine with a pool. If you want mine with a pool, you're gonna have to, you're gonna get paid less. You're gonna get paid every day, but you're gonna get paid less. If you mine with uh, solo, you don't get paid until you hit a block, okay? So you decide if you're interested in mining solo, I'll tell you how to mine solo or how to mine with a pool. Let's start with mining with a pool. Go to f2pool.io, okay? Sign up. Once you sign up, it will let you here. It's asking me for an SMS because I put that as a feature. Create a worker and decide what you're gonna mine. So it's Caspa, right? And this is where you get the URLs, right? And you're gonna take this URLs and you're gonna copy it over there. And then I just took and copy and paste it. They're there, and now I'm gonna get the wallet worker. You can either get the wallet directly so you can mine directly to a Caspa, okay? They have a wallet called Caspium, so you can get that on your Play Store or App Store. And you can see you're gonna get that wallet because you need that wallet. So you go and get that K backwards, okay? And you will open an account, you will get the C phrases and all that stuff, and you use that to put in your wallet. So I'm gonna put the wallet over there. So you really don't have to put the wallet directly there. You can put the worker actually, because I'm actually doing it the way that you mine solo, but I got my address here and this is under my account. So whenever you're dealing with a pool, mining pool, then they will pay you there. So since my wallet, my worker is Bitcoin mom. I will put Bitcoin mom here, Bitcoin mom, Bitcoin mom here, and then you put the password, okay? To mine solo, go to herominers.com, okay? Remember, you will not get paid unless you hit a block, but you get paid everything. You get paid the most this way. It will take longer, but it's worth it, okay? Click on Caspa. And you're gonna choose the closest to you, North America West, North America East, or Canada. And you're gonna copy and paste this, like this. And you're gonna put it there. Okay? Boom, okay? <clears throat> right? And then you'll put your wallet here and the password. And that's how you set it up as a solo miner. That's how it looks. Then I'm gonna put my wallet here. Paste, paste, and paste. This is my Caspian water, uh, wallet. And then the, and then you just go here and save. Boom, save, boom, save. Be sure 
that the fan is 100 and that the fan speeding percent is right there and then you just save, save, and that's it. So I have shown you how to set, set up a Caspa Miner, an Ice River Caspa Miner from beginning to end, including how to mine solo or mine with a pool. Hope that helps. And remember, follow, comment, and share. And I forgot, guys, how do you know that the miner is working? Once you connect it, you can go home and you'll see that the miner is mining and it gives you the hash rate, etc.